It didn't feel like a 3 0 game, to be honest, watching it. Did it feel like a 3 0 game to play? Everyone keeps saying this. It did on the pitch. Did it um, really? Okay. You know, to be fair, give credit to West Ham. They're a good side. And, you know, we had to be patient for the second and third goal. And we defended well as a team. And, uh, you know, luckily for me, I was in the right places to get them two goals. The first one of yours, uh, obviously, Timo hardly got hold of it at all. He's just clothed it. Did you know, uh, I know I'm on here because Cresswell's played me on? You look pretty confident. This is something I used to practice in school and in the park, you know, just getting in the box and, you know, when my friends are taking shots on goal, whatever it was, cross shot, you know, I had to anticipate and had to get in the right area. You know, I'll, I'll give Timo the benefit of the doubt that it was a cross, so, uh, you know, it was a great ball, a great goal. You're up to seven now, I think that is, uh, all competitions. The other two have got eight. It's, uh, you know, you're spreading it around well. We've had, we've had 13 different Premier League scorers as well, including Thiago Silva now. That, that is a good spread. We're not sort of reliant like some clubs are on, you know, one or two. Yeah, we can get goals from different areas of the pitch. And, you know, that's what I love about this team. You know, you don't feel as, as much pressure as a striker because you have great players behind you that can score goals. So, you know, for us, it's just about scoring goals, getting the three points and getting wins like today. And I know it's probably a smaller Christmas do for you, but I know there's a fair bit of Arsenal in the uh, in the Abraham family, if I remember rightly. And someone got the winner there, I think, this time last year. There'll be a bit flying about about the table of course you know my family have grown up big arsenal fans so it'll be nice to go home with a three point sack and rub it in frank i dare say you've had more comfortable three nils than that without them really seeming to trouble the actual mendy goal but they, they, you felt like they were dangerous for big chunks of that game yeah they, they are dangerous because they're effective they've got good players well organized and so one nil's not it's a, it's a decent score line but it's not the score line to, to make you comfortable when they can put a ball in the box at any minute and have a six foot four midfielder arrive in to head it uh, and others so um, and off the back of two defeats do you necessarily get a comfortable evening not always against a team like West Ham I loved parts of our game I loved the character how we approached it I loved the way we defended our box against those, those that team who can do that and stick balls in there um, and I loved the way where we had a difficult moment for the first half or the second half make a change Kovacic comes on uh, and we got on the ball again and we get our goals and we win comfortably in the end. Was that just about more energy with, with Jorginho because he, he got caught on the ball a couple of times? Is, is that what that was about? Uh, yeah, well, I, I think Georgie drove the early part of the game where we were really effective and really good. And uh, sometimes in a game it becomes difficult in midfield. I felt that where they went longer um, and balls were bouncing around in midfield, it was just time to sort of freshen up. Nothing absolutely against Georgie, but... Engie can do the, the deep roll, we've seen that recently. Cov came on and not only did Cov bring energy, but he brought quality in a little moment of receiving the ball and, and keeping us on it and moved us up the pitch well. Um, on the full-backs, uh, maybe seeing Aspie for a little run here, I thought he did really well and uh, Ben looked nasty, although he tried to play on, it really looked like it. Yeah, it was, uh, Aspie I had no doubts about because of how he trains and how he plays and how he is and sometimes it's harsh if he's not starting but Reese, we've all seen him play brilliantly so I'm, I'm, I'm obviously in that position, it's good competition. Um, so he did brilliantly. It's how, it's how he is. Uh, with Chile, uh, we hope it's not too bad. We just, like you say, you can see the nasty looking twist. I thought Emma, Emerson came on and did well as well. Um, but we'll have to assess Chile over the next day or two. Are you pleased now that you haven't got a quarter final this week before Boxing Day? Because I'm suddenly looking Everton are playing, Man U are playing, Tottenham are playing, you know, Man City and Arsenal are playing. I don't, I don't know. I mean, whether teams will rotate. Some players here are desperate for a game for us as well. I can never say I'm pleased that we're not in a competition, but it is a busy time and the players put a lot of effort in again tonight. The schedule is mad, so let's try and be fresh. But we must prepare right for Arsenal because going up against a team that's got quality players, a quality manager, and, and they're in a bad time, and that's a really dangerous combination. Hello, Frank. How things are you? <laughs> Fine. Good. Uh, listen, performance aside, uh, was that just the result that you needed? Yeah, definitely. Off the back of two defeats um, against the team of the quality of West Ham, what they're doing at the moment, a lot, a lot of threats and attacking areas and the way they play a very effective team. So um, I think I don't want to say performance aside because I thought the performance was, was really good when you think what they can do to you and Cross is coming in. Our defensive game was great. Um, I wasn't sure it would ever be a beautiful game today because there was a bit of pressure and they were a good side. I thought the lads dealt with that side of it really well. Two goals for Tammy Abraham. Um, he's first, I think, in something like seven matches. What, what will that do for him, especially you know, as he looks to compete for a starting place with Olivier Giroud? 
Yeah, well, it's good for his confidence, clearly. And um, you have to work for your goals. And he worked for them today. And he put a lot of effort in. And I wanted him to be a handful and to move and have energy and, and move their back line. I thought he did it. Um, Oli's been doing it for us in his own way and scoring goals. So it was a decision more on the opposition today to play Tammy. And I was pleased with how he did. Yeah, so we need you, we need that. It's something we've had goals from all over the pitch. That's great. But you do need people scoring regularly. And Tammy getting two will help him. Uh, ben Chilwell went off early on in the match. Um, what, what's the nature of, of his injury? How, how's it looking? Is he doubtful for Arsenal? Yeah, I, I'd expect to be doubtful to, for Arsenal. He turned his ankle. Um, he tried to carry on and was too painful. So we'll have to have uh, a scan or whatever um, tomorrow, first thing, and try and see how bad the injury is. Um, and he will update after that. Thanks, Ian. Let's come to Simon. Simon Johnson, are you there? Can't hear Simon. Anyone else for a question? Please raise your hand. Is it? Is there no one else there? Uh, Tony Banks is coming on. Far away, Tony. Tony. Hi, Richard. I've unmuted myself if I can still go. Yeah, go ahead, Simon. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Frank. Um, j- just going back to the, um, obviously, the lack of uh, Ben Chilwell potentially for Arsenal. Um, presumably, Reese James is still a doubt uh, for Arsenal as well. How does that change in terms of your attacking play without your first choice fullbacks? And and just sort of summarise what Azpilicueta and, and Emerson do bring when they are on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I suppose a slight difference in attributes will change things to a degree, but I have not too much and I, and I don't expect too much because it's all about very accomplished players and the captain of Club Aspie, I thought he came in and did brilliantly today um, in all senses of his game, particularly the defensive side, which was so important tonight against uh, the way they play. Um, and Emma did well as well. So when we train and when we work, we work inclusively with the whole squad and we know the movements we want to make. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll prepare for Arsenal and, and onwards with... Uh, our attacking game in mind. Sorry, someone, I've, I've, I've forgot if there was another part of the question there. I don't uh, think it, about too many things. <laughs> I, th- I think you answered it. It was, it was sort of, yeah, just sort of, um, can they bring the same attacking um, output as the as your two first choice fullbacks? Yeah, I think? yeah I, I think they can. And listen, as I say, every, everything can be different with attributes. But yeah, we want to attack with our fullbacks at times. The lads know that. Reese and Chile have been doing it really well. We hope both their injuries are not that bad and we, they'll be in and around those two games over Christmas, which is such a tight turnaround. Um, so we'll see. But I was pleased with the way the two lads that played today when Emma came on as well. I thought they were very accomplished. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Hi, Frank. Hi, Tony. You must be pleased with your defensive performance tonight because you came under a lot of pressure a lot of times in that game. Thiago as well really led as well from the back, didn't he? I mean, overall, defensively, that's an improvement, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think um, I think they were great. Thiago was the leader of that. I think also, I mentioned Aspie there, full-backs, you have to be sent to zone when they're crossing the ball again and again. They stick it in lots of areas. Very good at set pieces. And it's something that we've worked on a lot in training and it's something that personnel like Thiago clearly help a lot and I think some of our defending of the box this season has been really good really good and, and consistent and that has to stay particularly against opponents like we had tonight Thanks Frank Thanks Tony Hi Frank um, it looks a bit difficult for Timo at times but would you be more worried if he wasn't getting chances because you know they are coming for him Yeah I, um, I'm not worried on that sense. Every goal, every striker will want to be scoring goals. It's what they ultimately get judged on. And that's why Timo was a, a great uh, acquisition for us because of the, the level of goals he scored in the last few years. Um, so, again, I'll say it's a player that's in a new league and we have to have time to settle. But I think that's not the whole story of Timo. He's getting into positions regularly. He's scaring teams and giving them a problem. And at the moment, it's just not quite going in for him. And the moment that changes, he keeps working hard then we'll see goal from Timo Werner for sure. Let's finish with Jerry Cox. Are you there, Jerry? 
Hi, Frank. Can you hear me? Okay. Hi, Jerry. Yeah, I can. Um, you, you've moved now into the into the top five. Do, do you see this being a, a progression upwards now for for you know the next month or so? It depends on us, Jerry. It depends on us now. We're in a it's a league that's so tough because we're seeing it. We're seeing results every week that might surprise some. Um, it's hard for most teams to sustain form or results uh, that might be expected in different seasons. And I think there's a combination of reasons for that. So I don't want to jump the gun. It's up to us. What the games in front of us are tough. Going to Arsenal on Boxing Day, they're coming here two days later with hardly a turnaround. And then City coming early in the new year. So they're really tough. So the onus is on us to try and show that rather than say it too much. And of course, the London derbies, you, you, you're unbeaten so far. That, that must be a bonus for you because it always makes it harder for the London clubs when you've got so many of those derbies, haven't you? Yeah, I, I agree. It can be tougher. They're, they're all very challenging games. We saw that tonight with West Ham and obviously fans not being around maybe change the element of it slightly. But um, yeah, we've been in decent form with that, but I, I don't think that means much. Every game we have to take on face value. With Arsenal, I see it as a team of great quality and a, a class manager and we're in a tough moment. And that's a really dangerous combination to go against. So we have to prepare right. Thanks very much, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.